friends, and welcome to another week of children's ministry. We're going to have so much fun today. Our lesson is going to have us look at a river and a baby and how God can help us go through really hard times. But to get your mind thinking about what baby this might be, we're going to play a game all about babies and what they eat. So let's see what's going to happen. All right, welcome to game time. In today's Bible story, we are going to have a special baby. So we're playing a game with our contestants, Ms. Casey and Ms. Carly, seeing who can guess what the baby food is. Ah, oh. Round one. Okay. Ready? Set. Ready? Dink it. <laughs> and sink it. Mm, I know. I know. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay, write it down. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts about it? Uh, so it's kind of like holiday-ish. Sweet. That's what I'll say. Mm. Okay, round two. Round two. two. All right, this one's a little harder. It has two things in there for you to figure out. Oh. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. got to dink it. We'll dink it. Oh. Mm. Dink it. Looks like you have some thoughts. Mm. I know one. You can get a half point if you get one of them right. Mm, I think I got both of them. <laughs> You're not gonna do this one? Come on, <laughs> be brave. You gotta do this one. Okay, round three. Round you three. just have a little sip on your <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> Okay, now that we've tried all our baby food, uh -huh. can you guys tell me what you think number one was? Fucking sweet potato. The right answer is sweet potato. Yes! In your face! <laughs> all right, what was number two? I'll say banana and pear. Apples and bananas. It was bananas and strawberries. <gasps> So you both get yeah. half oh. of my point. My blow. <laughs> All right, what was number three? Turkey. Chicken. It was turkey. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Darn. So I think with a one and a half, Casey is our winner. I win. Are you cheated? <laughs> <laughs> we play potatoes all the time. I know it is. You were just in the pumpkin mood. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That was good. All right, and now guys, check this out. Yeah. Hi everybody, Chef Tony here with an update on my amazing adventures. Recently, I took a cruise down the Nile River. Along my trip, I saw many animals. Some looked cute and cuddly. Others looked fierce and dangerous. This made me think about Moses and how Moses had ridden down this exact same river in a basket made of reeds. He needed God's protection while he floated on the river to protect him from all the wild animals that live in this river. 
and some still live in the river today. I am thankful for God's protection and how he protects me in my everyday life, just like he protected Moses. I look forward to seeing you all soon. I'll send postcards about my, my trip and other things I've seen. Talk to you soon. Bye! Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman and became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and she and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Hello, it's Nicole, and today's Bible point is we can trust God even when it's scary. God knows everything we are going through at this moment and everything we will go through in the future. He knows the best way possible outcome, and we need to trust Him with that. We need to follow His path and trust that He knows best because He does if you're having trouble trusting God, here is an idea you can do. You can do the little by little step where you tell Jesus certain things, like how your voice was, <clears throat> or how you feel. And feel free to say anything because he wants to listen to you. In the Bible, we see all these heroes like Moses and Joseph and Abraham and Adam and Eve and Daniel and Jonah and on and on these characters and we know that they were living tough times back then for example even though Daniel was in the lion's den it must have been really scary but he had a lot of faith and trust and having trust and faith is something I think we all have within us and I know it's hard to trust God sometimes, especially during hard or scary times. So no matter what happens, just remember to trust Him because He loves us and He sent His Son for us.
bigger than anything I might be small but my God is big I might be small but my God is big I might be small but my God is big My God is bigger, so much bigger God is bigger than anything Hello everyone, it's Brittany, and this week's memory verse is Hebrews 11.23, and it says, By faith Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born, because they saw he was no ordinary child, and they were not afraid of the king's edict. So from what we can say from this Bible, or this memory verse, is that um, even during those scary and difficult times, um, it was through faith that that Moses' parents were able to trust what was happening in this. They were able to trust God in that scary situation. So this is in um, relation to today's Bible point, or this relates to today's Bible point, which is um, which is what Nicole's talking about. We can trust God even when it's scary. And this is a really good example of that Bible point because during the time when Moses was born, um, something very scary was happening to all of the all of his people and from from this exact story we are able to know that we can still trust God during scary times or even hard times and we know that God has a purpose for everything that he does and we can trust him because he already knows what's going to happen he already has everything planned for you so that is basically it and I hope you have a wonderful week and see you next time Bye. When the world is hurting, when life is so confusing. I am sure of one thing, God's by my side, yeah. When I'm feeling lonely, and I start to worry, I know God, you're near me, and you're always by my side, yeah. And I can lift my hands up to you. I can raise my voice and sing You are who I put all hope in I will trust you in Is hurting when life is so
so much for joining me today. It's so much fun getting to talk to you guys. I hope you got to join us for Zoom Church uh, this week before you watched our video. And if you don't know the information for that, or you aren't getting our stuff in the mail all about our lessons ahead of time, please message me at ashley at parkavenuechristian.org because I'd love to give you that information and get you part of the team. Well, before I go, I want to pray for you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word and how we can learn from it. I thank you for Moses and his sister and his parents and how we can learn that in scary times and difficult times, you pull us through, that you help us through the hard times, can help us be brave, and at the end of the day, you're in control. Help us to remember this. Pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks, guys. I'm going to see you guys next week. Bye. small but my god is big my god is bigger so much